So good to see Joe Williams in the starting 11 again today. Bristol City, though, could be exposed here. Here's Keenan Davis waiting for his strike partner to enter the box. It's still Davis, but a trickery from him. Slides it back to Jed Spence and a fine stop from Dan Bentley. Flying away down to his right-hand side. Yeah, really good by Bentley. Um, anticipated the side he was going to shoot at. Got across really well and it's a good hand on the ball. As I said prior to kick-off, Jed Spence attracting all sorts of interest from Premier League sides. Hoping his side can capitalise here and it's sent goal bound. Another fantastic stop from Dan Bentley. This time it was Cook with the acrobatics. But that save arguably more impressive than the first. Yeah, really good by Dan Bentley. He's, he's really showing um, his class at the minute there. High line from Nottingham Forest right on the edge of the D. In it goes from Scott, a dangerous one into the arms of Horvath. It was Vyman with the header. Bring chooses to move in on Spence early, but Spence again moves away from the fullback and then spots the space that Johnson now has out on that right hand side. Bring back in position. Johnson squares it, drills it home, and there's the opening goal. His 11th for the season. I wonder whether there was a slight deflection or something that put off Dan Bentley. Yeah, and he see it again. And there's that little bit of link up and rotation we were talking about before the game with Johnson and Spence. And Johnson's managed to get on the outside there into space. Let's have a look. Maybe just catches yeah. Bentley by surprise. Maybe he thought he was going to try and square the ball. Rather be uh, creating opportunities down the other end of the field. Bristol City weathering a, an onslaught before half time. Flicked on by Worrell into the danger area. Davis, and that's what Bentley gives you in those moments. Reflex saves, and he keeps Bristol City one goal behind. Uh, that's probably three times now he's made really good reflex, quick saves. Important saves from him. goes McKenna he's had so much room to run into finds low on the overlap he's still going here McKenna back to low lining up on the edge of the box and it's fired home by James Garner too easy for Nottingham Forest just passes it into that far corner but McKenna afforded so much time down that left hand side yeah too much time and space uh, the ball got pulled back and great finish by the kid put it straight into the bottom corner It takes a bit of a deflection on the way through, maybe. Of Andy Vyman, all too easy though for the home side. And now Bristol City have a real uphill task. Callas plays in Joe Williams, who wasn't concentrating, could be a third, but for Dan Bentley again, who bails his side out. And that will infuriate. Nigel Pearson, and who is at fault there, really? Joe Williams taking his eye off the ball, but Thomas Callas plays in a dangerous ball. The, uh, the old rule is anything square, you've got to be very sure that you're going to play the pass, and there didn't look to be an understanding that Joe was going to drop into a deeper area to get it. 